Hello, I'm Atu Jamir and you're watching Hornbill TV Spam at Night. In the Mapur supermarket, three men attempted to rape two women last night. It was reported that this incident took place around 8 p.m. last night when two women went to attend Nature's Call It a Star Patrol Pump Toilet. Let's see the details with the reporter, Aduna. Ekta shocking incident, Mohan Jagali, Saturday, Rati, 8.30, Nisnate, Ekta. Unfortunate incident hoala kobor mugan jani paise. To itya moi yade supermarket the petrol pump osorte ayna se. To mugan kali rati 8:30 nista the mugan jani paise ki yade moi la pichhe the yade supermarket the itu petrol pump laga opposite taka maiki duita 21 years old or 17 years old yade taka maiki duita yade taka la gold the toilet na taka nimite yade petrol pump the taka tai jujun itu toilet the ayule taka. I will have them de Tinta Chukra, Naga Manu Tinta Chukra, Taizunke Durigna, Taizunke Rep Kurule, Kosis Kurise, Quikina, Muan Jani Paise, to Muan Hornbill TV Gambi, Yate Aegana, Ere Victims Han Logotibi, Muan Kota Kurise, or Muan Jani Paise, Taizundu, it do eight thirteen is not yet on light me like we see two time day, Inega Huina, Taizun Yere Petropa, Naga Toilet, I will time day, Tinta Chukra, Naga Chukra, He, Taizunke Durigna. Ekta 21 years, uh, 21 years old. Itu bacha Mikey kitu. Ekta chukra bra duri gina bedroom pitorde lo uh, bedroom pitorde loy jai na lock hui dishe koi na jani paise. Aro ala ekta chukri kitu bahar de taik ke duri gina taik se kintu. Oto 21 years old Mikey kitu itu ekta chukra bra bedroom pitorde uh, bedroom pitorde tani gina bedroom laga door uh, door zabi bond kui dishe kuche door zabi bond kui na taik ke bia. Come, guru, will try to do something. Do you know? victims, probably, Mohan Hornbill TV, can do something. Do you know? 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 Do Mikey itu 21 years old Mikey la to underwear tak bi itu pathai dise inika position te taka tam de taka la parents kan yate neighbors kan aigna tai ke tai jun ke bachya bole parise kuise to itu rat ja kali rati saturday rati de ek jun ke tu duriwo parise huile bi dui jun tu pulaise kuise kintu aji mogan yate aigna tai kan itu police laga pro itu dcp pro ke bi mogan Contact guru le kosis guru si huili bi taay logo itu kota guru parna huili bi kumba police source pra muan ke kosis iki aji itu duita mai duita muta ke bi duri gina ita tanah tera kina ase kosis to itu muan laga stay dima pude inika laga incidents nizer naga manu pra naga boini ke inika rap guru le attempt kura laga case kali laga case tu busy dango hoya se aro itu police kan bi itu Evidence karde aji victims kan logoti bi tan police station the loy jayena evidence kan bi kiki ase top top itu evidence kan tu summit kui dishe kui and then itia police itu tinjan chukra ke tu duri gina itia tanati ase kui itu opporti bi ki laga punishment loy bi ki nika investigation loy bi ki nika jawol ase itu bichi the muan PRO ki bi contact kui gina tagan ki bi itu details loy gina apni kan ke jane dibo muan ase adona re with camera person joy watch. For Hornbill TV, Jamapur. Adding an international touch to Diwali celebrations this year, a group of 12 Russian artists performed Ram Leela in Ayodhya, UP on October 22nd. The Russian troupe, dressed in traditional ensembles, stole the show with their stunning performance. Locals were amazed by their a stunning performance. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has given a global platform to artists of foreign countries to perform Ram Leela in Ram Nagari, Ayodhya. Since 2017, Ram Leela has been performed by foreign performers each year during the Poth Surf. This year, Diwali will be celebrated on October 24. I'm uh, Sita. Yes, of course. She's a goddess. She's Rama's wife, and she loves Rama so much. It it is my first time, and it is my first time in India. 
Uh, we have practiced for uh, three or four months. Yes, it is uh, Rama's hometown. हमको तो बहुत अच्छा लगा, बहुत अच्छा लगा, क्योंकि मैं पहली बार देखा हूँ और मेरे समझ में भी आ रहा था, ऐसा बिल्कुल समझ में आ रहा था, हाँ, उनके शब्द भी कुछ समझ में आ रहे थे। ये पूरी टीम मास्को की है, हमारे 12 सदस्य इसमें आर्टिस्ट आए हुए हैं जो पूरी रामकला रामलिया दिखाने के लिए दीपो और 2019 महाकुंभ प्रयागराज में लैंग्वेज ज़्यादा नहीं है और उसमें लैंग्वेज उतनी जरिए प्रॉब्लम नहीं है प्रॉब्लम केवल है उसमें उनको फीलिंग देना कि राम क्या है अपने किरदार में घुसने के लिए सीता माता का क्या रोल है क्या थीं क्योंकि ये रामलीला करना बहुत ही मुश्किल है Three people died by suicide in HSR layouts at CK Baba Deputy Commissioner of Police, Southeast Division, Bangalore City Police. After the bodies were shifted to the Saint Hospital, it appeared that Santosh, a small businessman who has a small tool making business in the industrial area, poured kerosene on his wife, Umana, 55, and daughter, Anusha, 18, and poured it on himself and set fire on all three of them. As with the primary investigation, it was learned that the family was shifted from Palakkad, Kerala in 1998, said the DCP. HSR police station limits only. बैठ गया इधर इन दो आर घंटे वर्ग के वंदु घटने नहीं आते आ घटने या सारांश ये नहीं आता अंदर है वंदु फैमिली गंडा हेंटी और मगलो मोर उन मने लेता रहे ना मैं छः साल लिमिट संडे अधिक उन मने दे वो आ मने ले मलगी दागा औरो यार इधर के मेन अक्यूज जो अपन मेन यार इधर के तीरो होगी दरह एंटी मत तो मगर मेले का कैरोसिन आप बिटो तानो कुड़ आदमी कैरोसिन आप कौन दो बिंक ऐश कौन दो ये फायर आगे औरो डेथ आगे रो तो सेंट जॉन्स हॉस्पिटल नाउ बॉडी शेड पार्ट का डेथ आगे तो नम गया आप ऐसे सही लोग दो केस अंदर ना हो नम एचएसआर पुलिस थाने ले रजिस्टर मार देते हैं Karnataka minister is under fire after a video of him slapping a woman at a public event to distribute land titles in the state Chamaraj Nagar district surfaced on Saturday. Housing Minister of Karnataka V. Somana was attending an event Saturday at Hangala village in Kundul Bed, the look where 173 beneficiaries were handed out land title deeds. The woman, identified as Kempa Ma, alleged that the selection process for the beneficiaries was rigged, the Indian Express reported. In the video, the woman can be seen confronting the minister to which he slapped her. She can be seen touching his feet immediately after the altercation, and security officials can be seen dragging her away. While the minister has not yet re reacted to the incident, the woman has said that Sumana was only consoling her after she tried to prostrate before him with a plea to allot her government plot. A five-year-old girl died after a group of stray dogs attacked her in Bakavan village of Matya Pradesh's Kargone district, an official said. The incident occurred around 1 p.m. on Friday when the girl was going to a grocery shop situated nearby her house alone. One of the relatives of the girl, Sulal, said that the father of the girl went to work in the field and she went to the shop alone. In the meantime, a group of stray dogs attacked her and bit her on the neck. The villagers rescued the girl from the grip of the dogs and took her immediately to Baidia Hospital from where she was referred to District Hospital after primary treatment. She died while undergoing treatment. तो फिर हम काम पे चले गए तो फिर वो बच्चे थे दुकान पे गए थे अकेले तो कुत्ते ने पकड़ लिया वहाँ पे पाँच छः कुत्ते ने नहीं वो मेरी मिसेज भी थी लेकिन वो रास्ते अकेली चली गई थी वो घर पे ही बैठी थी वो दुकान पे गई थी किराना दुकान पे पास में ही थे ज़्यादा दूर भी नहीं था गर्दन पर लगी थी और सर में है गर्दन पर बहुत ज़्यादा ये लगभग एक बजे होगा आज की हाँ आज के एक हाँ गाँव के दुकान में पास में था दुकान भी और बिड़िया से लिखा है सर वो इलाज के लिए भर्ती करने के लिए जिला अस्पताल में इलाज के दौरान उसकी मृत्यु हो गई सर परिजन बता रहे हैं कि सर वो कुत्ता काट लिया बोले उम्र करीबन पाँच साल की है पाँच साल है उसकी मौत हो गई सर और कुत्ता काटना बता रहे सर उनके परिजन है अभी मर्ग कायम करके सर वो कल पी करवाएंगे सर
पीएम का लोग हाँ कल पीएम होगा We'll take a short break. Keep watching. Virat Kohli played one of the memorable innings in the history of T20 World Cup as he played an unbeaten knock of 82 as India defeated Pakistan by four wickets in a last ball thriller at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. India was in trouble throughout the chase of 160 but Kohli first played an anchor role and then he took on the mantle of hitting the big ones and in the end it was his class that helped India triumph over Pakistan. Earlier, Arshdeep Singh and Hardik Pandya took three wickets each as India restricted Pakistan to 159 by 8 in 20 overs. Two arrested convicts escaped from Lucky Nagar police station of Hailakandi district. Both the convicts were arrested for eve teasing by the police. Just three months back, a similar incident occurred in Algapur police station of the same district. When an arrested convict escaped after committing a heinous felony of allegedly raping a minor, Kalauddin Lashkar and Kadir Uddin Lashkar were harassing and eve teasing a schoolgirl for many days now and after the student's girl complained to her parents and a fire was registered in the Lucky Nagar police station. Lucky Nagar police last evening arrested them and within a short period of time they escaped breaking off the handcuffs. Local residents and neighbours of this girl reached the police station today and demanded their arrest immediately. तो उसकी माँ ने आकर बोली थी सबको तो हम लोग यहाँ पर आकर केस करे थे तो सार ने दो को अरेस्ट करा करा था कर कर उसके बाद उन्होंने बोला कि नहीं इसे हम लोग चलान दे देंगे उसके बाद सब कुछ हम लोग तो घर पे चले गए और शायद वो ग्यारह बारह बजे वो यहाँ से दो कांस्टेबल उन्होंने छोड़कर गया तो वहाँ पर ड्यूटी के लिए कि इन लोगों को देखो मैं यहाँ आकर इन लोगों को चलान करूँगा उसके बाद वो लोग फरार हो गए यहाँ से भाग गए हाँ थाने से भाग गए यहाँ पर हाँ एक का नाम है कालाउद्दीन और एक का नाम है कादिर तो वो दोनों भाग गए सुबह हम लोग को पता चला बाद में तो हम लोग सबको बोले लेकिन अभी तक तो कोई पता नहीं चला कि क्या हुआ क्या नहीं और कौन छोड़े दोनों को नहीं मिला वो लोग तो गायब हो गए पुलिस तलाशी कर रहे हैं शायद तलाशी तो कर रहे हैं लेकिन वो तो मिल नहीं रहे हैं लेकिन वो तो जो कॉन्स्टेबल थे उन्हीं लोग तो बता सकते हैं ना कि क्या हुआ क्या नहीं कि शायद वो लुप्त हो गए ना क्या सरकार से आप क्या अपील करना चाहते हैं एक कहना चाहते हैं हम लोग सरकार से जितना जल्दी सके उन लोगों को अरेस्ट करिए अच्छा होगा वरना बाद में प्रॉब्लम होने से तो प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगा ना ये तो लफजियात का प्रॉब्लम है in a goodwill gesture, Union Minister Pratima Bomik today met the family members of martyr Indian Army soldier Sanjay Debnat. Debnat was killed in the fatal landslide of Manipur that took place earlier this year. Bomik met the family members to share the joy of Diwali Eve with the Pirivert family members. She also gifted firecrackers and sweet items to mark the auspicious occasion. Her noble gesture won many hearts. the students sitting at these tests know that they are the future, not just for the country, but for the entire planet. It's been 90 years since MPEI National Research University has been training specialists in hydropower and renewable energy sources. Lighting a light bulb with a puff of wind is no how a trick for the students, but a precise calculation. The Renewable Energy Institute now trains more than 700 specialists. M.Y. Mio came to Moscow from Myanmar. He enrolled in his master's degree here in 2012. Mio is now pursuing a scientific degree in electrical energy. The operating mode of solar power station is displayed here. Solar energy, wind energy and warmth from the bowels of the earth are all extensively used by the university in its work with students. It is practical and most importantly environmental friendly. 
Очень да, в диапазоне крепчески тепло, очень ярко, особенно. Поэтому солнце очень светит хорошо, поэтому лучше построить солнечные электростанции. После учебы я поеду на родину и постараюсь поделиться знаниями мои и как преподавателем либо. A major scam and large-scale anomalies were witnessed. In a PWT road construction on the outskirts of Silchar town, bidding of Kochar district in Assam, where PWT road construction project of 9 crore showcases gross of anomalies. Just three days after the completion of the project, black road toppings are coming out and even worse with bare hems, which clearly depicts where the taxpayers' money is building the stretch of road have gone. It has been learned that a Guwahati-based firm, UCN Construction, got the contract for this project. But right from the very beginning of the project, local residents could smell a foul play going on behind the construction of the road. Venting their anger on the contractor, local resident Utam Chan Nahata charged the contractor and PWT officials of a major scam. Local residents informed that the matter was earlier brought to the PWT engineers but no steps were taken. The local residents said in just three days, the black toppings over the road were coming out and so the local are now appealing to the DC Kacha Rohan Cha and Chief Minister of Assam Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma to come out and take appropriate steps to mitigate their concerns. Our age is a big day. We have been in the দুঃখের বিষয় হলো আমরা এই রাস্তা নিয়ে অনেক দিন প্রতিবাদ করেছি আন্দোলন করেছি এই রাস্তার যেগুলা গর্ত ছিল এইগুলা গর্তের কারণে এখানে দুই চারজন মানুষ মানুষের প্রাণও গিয়েছে এখন দেখা যায় আমরা আমাদের অনেক দিন অনেক দিনের এই প্রতিবাদের ফলে আমরা বর্তমানে এই রাস্তার কাজ আরম্ভ হয়েছে আমরা তো দেখতে পেয়েছি যে রাস্তার কাজ হয়েছে আমরা সবাই এর জন্য আমরা কন্ট্রাক্টর কন্ট্রাক্টর স্যারের সঙ্গে আমরা ওনার সহযোগিতা করেছি কিন্তু দেখা গিয়েছে বিগত দিনে যেগুলো কাজ হয়েছে গত তিন দিন চার দিন আগে এই রাস্তার যে যেগুলো ভিস হয়েছে এখন দেখা যায় এগুলো ভিস হাত দিয়ে উঠানি যাচ্ছে রিক্সা রিক্সার চাকার লগে চলে গেছে সাইকেলের চাকার সঙ্গে চলে গেছে Two workers were charged to death and one more was injured when fire broke out in a firecracker stall set up here for Diwali festival in the early hours of Sunday. The victims were not yet identified and the Andhra Pradesh State Disaster Response and Fire Services Department personnel were trying to extinguish flames. According to the fire and police personnel, fire caught on one of the firecracker shops set up in Jim Khanna. Ground in Gandhi Nagar. Flames engulfed the two other shops in which two workers were burned beyond recognition. The day before Diwali, the Delhiites woke up under a blanket of the smoky sky as the air quality remained, remained in the poor category with the overall air quality index at 266. According to the System of Air Quality and Weather Forecasting and Research, the AQI index in the overall Delhi region was in the poor category at 266. 
very poor category in the Delhi University area at 329. Poor quality in Madhura Road and Lodi Road at 293 and 218 respectively on Sunday morning. The levels of PM 2.5 and PM 10 were recorded at 110 in the poor and 237 in the moderate category respectively. So far also advised the sensitive groups to reduce prolonged or heavy ex exertion and to more breaks and do less intense activities. Meanwhile, the Delhi government has banned the production, storage, sale and bursting crackers this year as well as fines and jail terms in case of violation. Pollution ki city subah to theek hi hai baki hai ki janta hai to pollution to hoga hi sabhi ko apne aap hi control karna hai kisi aur ko to aap blame kar bhi nahi sakte ho logo ne pollution kar rakha hai apna self discipline bana lo pollution theek ho jayega pollution pehle se down lag raha hai but eventually like abhi diwali ke baad shayad increase kar jaye so abhi to theek lag raha hai pehle se to kam hai but ab aage dekhte hai diwali ke baad kya hota hai but pehle se farak hai पिछले साल से आपकी नॉर्मल है क्योंकि पहले जैसे बम पटाके छोड़ते थे इस टाइम में तो बहुत ज्यादा पोल्यूशन हो जाता था तो अब इतना पोल्यूशन नहीं है जितना होना चाहिए उससे नॉर्मल ही है पोल्यूशन जो है पोल्यूशन के लिए पोल्यूशन अभी इंक्रीज बढ़ा है थोड़ा दिल्ली के अंदर क्योंकि हम लोग जब साइकिल करते हैं तो हमें सांस लेने में थोड़ी सी प्रॉब्लम हो रही है साथ ही साथ कोल्ड एंड कफ भी ज्यादा हो रहा है ये एक हफ्ते से रह रहा है और धीरे धीरे अभी और बढ़ रहा है so we always struggle, like you know, we struggle करना पड़ता है सांस लेने में और इतने सारे धुआं है, pollution है, फिर सुबह सुबह निकलने का क्या मतलब होता है? तो यही सब ये ये सब की problem है, ये हमारी problem नहीं है, पूरा दिल्ली का problem है। in the wee hours of Sunday, a passenger bus collided with a dumper on the Agra Lucknow Expressway close to Itawa in Uttar Pradesh, resulting in at least four deaths and more than 45 injuries. The bus left Kurakpur in the UP and travelled to Ajmer, Rajasthan. When the dumper's tyre burst in the early hours of the morning, a speeding bus struck it from behind. Yogi Aditana, the Chief Minister, gave the go-ahead for the officials to travel to the scene of the accident and make all necessary arrangements for the injured. The PJI hospital in Saifai received the injured people immediately. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.